Hello everyone, I'm Ibad, and a warm welcome to my YouTube channel. In this exciting series, we'll be delving into the world of the CompTIA Security Plus exam. Each video in this series is packed with 30 practice test questions to help you ace the exam with confidence. John is analyzing strange behavior on computers in his network. He believes there is malware on the machines. The symptoms include strange behavior that persists even if he boots the machine to a Linux Live CD. What is the most likely cause? Ransomware, boot sector virus, rootkit, keylogger. The correct answer is option B, boot sector virus. Ahmed is a sales manager with a major insurance company. He has received an email that is encouraging him to click on a link and fill out a survey. He is suspicious of the email, but it does mention a major insurance association, and that makes him think it might be legitimate. Which of the following best describes this attack? Phishing, social engineering, spear phishing, Trojan horse. You are a security administrator for a medium sized bank. You have discovered a piece of software on your bank's database server that is not supposed to be there. It appears that the software will begin deleting database files if a specific employee is terminated. What best describes this? You are responsible for incident response at Acme Bank. The Acme Bank website has been attacked. The attacker used the login screen, but rather than enter login credentials, he or she entered some odd text or one. One, what is the best description for this attack? Juanita is a network administrator for a small accounting firm. The users on her network are complaining of slow connectivity. When she examines the firewall logs, she observes a large number of half-open connections. What best describes this attack? Frank is deeply concerned about attacks to his company's e-commerce server. He is particularly worried about cross-site scripting and SQL injection. Which of the following would best defend against these two specific attacks? You are responsible for network security at Acme Company. Users have been reporting that personal data is being stolen when using the wireless network. They all insist they only connect to the corporate wireless access point, WAP. However, logs for the WAP show that these users have not connected to it. Which of the following could best explain this situation? What type of attack depends on the attacker entering JavaScript into a text area that is intended for users to enter text that will be viewed by other users? A sales manager at your company is complaining about slow performance on his computer. When you thoroughly investigate the issue, you find spyware on his computer. He insists that the only thing he has downloaded recently was a freeware stock trading application. What would best explain this situation? Your company outsourced development of an accounting application to a local programming firm. After three months of using the product, one of your accountants accidentally discovers a way to log in and bypass all security and authentication. What best describes this? Teresa is the security manager for a mid-sized insurance company. She receives a call from law enforcement telling her that some computers on her network participated in a massive denial-of-service 
DOS attack. Teresa is certain that none of the employees at her company would be involved in a cybercrime. What would best explain this scenario? Mike is a network administrator with a small financial services company. He has received a pop-up window that states his files are now encrypted and he must pay five bitcoins to get them decrypted. He tries to check the files in question, but their extensions have changed and he cannot open them. What best describes this situation? Terence is examining logs for the company e-commerce web server. He discovers a number of redirects that cannot be explained. After carefully examining the website, he finds some attacker performed a watering hole attack by placing JavaScript in the website and is redirecting users to a phishing website. Which of the following techniques would be best at preventing this in the future? What type of attack is based on sending more data to a target variable than the data can actually hold? What type of attack is based on sending more data to a target variable than the data can actually hold? You have been asked to test your company network for security issues. The specific test you are conducting involves primarily using automated and semi-automated tools to look for known vulnerabilities with the various systems on your network. Which of the following best describes this type of test? Jared discovers that attackers have breached his Wi-Fi network. They have gained access via the Wireless Access Point, WAP Administrative Panel, and have logged on with the credentials the WAP shipped with what best describes this issue? Joanne is concerned about social engineering. She is particularly concerned that this technique could be used by an attacker to obtain information about the network, including possibly even passwords. What countermeasure would be most effective in combating social engineering? You are responsible for incident response at a mid-sized bank. You have discovered that someone was able to successfully breach your network and steal data from your database server. All servers are configured to forward logs to a central logging server. However, when you examine that central log, there are no entries after 2.13 a.m. two days ago. You check the servers and they are sending logs to the right server but they are not getting there. Which of the following would be most likely to explain this? Colleen is the web security administrator for an online auction website. A small number of users are complaining that when they visit the website and log in, they are told the service is down and to try again. Later, Colleen checks and she can visit the site without any problem, even from computers outside the network. She also checks the web server log and there is no record of those users ever connecting. Which of the following might best explain this? Mahmoud is responsible for managing security at a large university. He has just performed a threat analysis for the network and based on past incidents and studies of similar networks, he has determined that the most prevalent threat to his network is low-skilled attackers who wish to breach the system simply to prove they can or for some low-level crime, such as changing a grade. Which term best describes this type of attacker? Which of the following best describes a collection of computers that have been compromised and are being controlled from one central point.
John is conducting a penetration test of a client's network. He is currently gathering information from sources such as archive.org, netcraft.com, social media, and information websites. What best describes this stage? One of the salespeople in your company reports that his computer is behaving sluggishly. You check, but don't see any obvious malware. However, in his temp folder, you find JPEGs that look like screenshots of his desktop. Which of the following is the most likely cause? What type of attack is based on entering fake entries into a target network's domain name server? Frank has been asked to conduct a penetration test of a small bookkeeping firm. For the test, he has only been given the company name, the domain name for their website, and the IP address of their gateway router. What best describes this type of test? Frank has been asked to conduct a penetration test of a small bookkeeping firm. For the test, he has only been given the company name, the domain name, for their website, and the IP address of their gateway router. What best describes this type of test? You work for a security company that performs penetration testing for clients. You are conducting a test of an e commerce company. You discover that after compromising the web server, you can use the web server to launch a second attack into the company's internal network. What best describes this? While investigating a malware outbreak on your company network, you discover something very odd. There is a file that has the same name as a Windows system, DLL, and even has the same API interface, but handles input very differently in a manner to help compromise the system. And it appears that applications have been attaching to this file rather than the real system DLL. What best describes this? Your company has hired a penetration testing firm to test the network. For the test, you have given the company details on operating systems, you use applications you run, and network devices. What best describes this type of test? Frank is a network administrator for a small college. He discovers that several machines on his network are infected with malware, that malware is sending a flood of packets to a target external to the network. What best describes this attack? John is a salesman for an automobile company. He recently downloaded a program from an unknown website and now his client files have their file extensions changed and he cannot open them. He has received a pop-up window that states his files are now encrypted and he must pay 0.5 bitcoins to get them decrypted. What has happened? Please subscribe to this YouTube channel for additional Security Plus practice exam questions. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you.